Hello, this is Black Ops NZ Production, and today I have for you a guide of how to sync a gun bullet sound and the music together to make it look really nice for a montage. Uh, up here I will drag in, to, I'll get straight into this, I'll drag in my uh, video clip, and I'll drag in my music. Right click on the, uh, this is just to get rid of the um, background uh, movie. Right click group, remove from, and that means I can just delete the top line. Delete that. Right now for the uh, montage clip, I'm going to right click on it, switches, maintain aspect ratio off, go on to event, pan and crop, hold control down and get rid of these nasty little black borders. Like so. There we go. Now as you can see there's no black borders. Um, I may need to check my presets as I've just, um, no, oh, it's all good, it's all good, right here. So now we've got this basic done. Okay, first thing what I like to do is mark out the points of the beat of the music. For this, you're going to hit M on the keyboard, which you'll do, I'll show you over here. When you hit M, it'll leave a marker point. This means that, um, you can go to it easier and, you know, it's easier to find the point of which you want. So I'm just going to remove this. You go along here and listen to the music once really quickly. I'm just going to move this over here. And choose a point. I might start over here because this is when the music starts dropping off. It's always a good point. Yeah, it will be enough of this. I'm pretty. It's only five gunshots, so I'm just going to choose the, you know the five best ones I like. I want to be on one, two, three. There you go. That'll, yeah, that'll do. So the next thing we shall do is um. So I've got five gunshots. I've got way too many points, but I can choose which one I want. You know which markers I'd like to use. I'm pretty sure this one's off by a little bit, but oh well. So, the next thing we're going to do is right click on the clip, go group, and remove from. This will split the clip away from the sound, so now I can move it along. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to find the perfect gunshot. Now, in a normal clip, you won't have this perfect gunshot sound. This is just a recording I've done in theater mode so that I can get the sound effects of guns I want. I've got a load of sounds recorded. Um, and basically, yeah, uh, I might actually... I'll, I'll record a whole of sounds from different Call of Duties and put them into a folder and um, make a zip it up so you guys can use it if you want to. I'm not going to put the link in this guide, but when I um, upgrade my computer, I'll do that. So, for the sound effects, we're going to want to split it over here and somewhere over here, depending on what you want. If you just want the bang sound, you're just going to split this bit here, which is the oof, I think. Yeah. Um, I'm going to split it somewhere around about here because you can't actually hear that last bit of sound. So I'm just going to zoom in. Is that using uh, Shift, Control, and Alt to scroll along frame by frame? And this is the closest one here from the looks of back here. Close enough. And back there. So now we can get rid of this. Get rid of this. Put this on Sol. Oh, wrong one. This one's soloed. So I, I can just hear this by itself. I might actually cut it off a bit further back. Just have to hear this. Mm, maybe like there. I think that will do. Yeah, that's perfect. Right, now what we're going to do is... We're going to split the gunshots up on the clip, so I'll show you examples. So it's boom like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll back to the point where the gun shoots. Okay, where the fire starts right there on that frame there, see? Now we're just going to go to the frame before it, before the gunshot starts, so we're going to split it. We're going to do it for the next one as well. And there we go. Gun shot there, split it there. Next one. Ooh, ooh, laggy, laggy, laggy. 
Next one. There we go. Scroll back. So there's gunfire, frame of force, let it again. There we go, it's not split. And there should be one more shot fired somewhere up here. There we go. Just split there. Now we're going to move this along to fit the beat of the music. Um, move them all a bit further. Now, usually when you would be sinking, you'd probably be sniping, uh, sinking sniper fire, and you'd probably do it a little bit faster than this. If you're sinking machine gun fire, you'd be hitting, you know, you'd have a lot more markers on the page for your sinking. But this is just showing the basics of how to do it. So that one goes there and there. See, so basically we have oh wrong one, my bad. There and there. So play it through, and it's going to go. Oh, still got it muted. There we go. Play it through. See? So we're going to drag our gunshot over here as well to the marker point. So we're going to have it now. Yeah, I thought that was a little bit off, but oh well. See, the beat starts there, so I need to. Oh. Close enough. Right. So the next one, we're going to listen to it again. We're going to pick a spot where we want the next one. I might have one there actually. So we're going to do to this clip is we're going to finish the reload, which is right there. Oops. Split it so we can make it shorter. Shorten it right up to the clip, right up to that marker line there. Drag the next one in, like so. Control C, Control V to get another gunshot sound. I'm just copying and pasting it, basically. So it's going to be like this. Like that, right. So now we have the clips lined up like so. We'll listen to them again. That's behind. I'm going to have this one as a gunshot here. We'll scroll back to this one when the reload stops. And there. And there. Oops. There. This more. Drag this one across. And there we go. So we'll listen to this. Oop. Control V for paste. So. This one's definitely behind a bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a bit shorter. Make this one across a wee bit like that. Let's hear this. Close enough. Now, usually I'd be a bit more anal about this and try and get it absolutely perfect, but uh, I can't be bothered. So we're just going to drag this out like this. I'll choose the next spot, like this. That one there. Choose with the reload stop skin. There. Make it shorter. There. Drag this across. And here, control V. There, there's another one. Find the reloading. There. Shorten it to there. Make this one across. Control V. -A. All 
radio, so that looks pretty much done. Um, yeah, so I'll just split the music there, right at the end. Split the music there, delete, delete. Uh, if you want to add, this is a handy technique I use, but instead of adding color correction to every single little individual piece, if you've got like I've usually I would add this first, but I've forgotten to do that. So now I'm going to go to sharpen, grab a medium sharpen, and dump it over into this left hand corner over here, like so, and that'll sharpen everything up. So now I've got this, so it looks a bit nicer. Now I'll put it in preview full. So yeah, so that's it there, it looks very nice. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today. Uh, I'm not going to post on YouTube because it's not really a um, montage clip or anything, but um, yeah, I'm just going to keep it like this. Um, subscribe, rate, and comment. I'm thinking about uh, when I upgrade my computer 64 bit, I'm going to get Adobe After Effects CS5, and when I get that, I'm going to do motion tracking, basic text, and stuff, and show you how to use all that. Um, the next guide I might do might be, uh, I'll see, it depends what people want. Um, if you would like to have a basic overview of Sony Vegas Pro, like ev all the basics if you've never used it before and you're just learning, I uh, wouldn't mind showing that one, that's pretty easy. Um, if there's anything else you'd like me to show, I could show some basic color correction. Oh, there's also ones to do with the music, like making the music sound like it's underwater. That'd be a two-minute guide. It's pretty easy. Um, just all little different bits and pieces. If you would like me to show you, give send me a message. Um, I'm not editing stuff for anyone else at the moment because I've got a lot of work on my hands with school and people sending me some stuff that I've asked already. So um, I've had a lot of people asking me to edit their stuff, and I can't. Sorry at the moment. Maybe in the holidays when they come round. Uh, I think it's six weeks away. But yeah, apart from that, well, thank you. Uh, subscribe, rate, and comment. Tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like, as usual. Thank you.